Recently, global ratings firm Moody's changed its outlook on Nigeria, Morocco and South Africa's banking systems to negative from stable and that was driven by the coronavirus pandemic and the drop in oil prices in Nigeria. Moody's says that banks will face weakening loan quality and foreign currency liquidity as low oil prices and the pandemic weigh on the economy. Of course, these new challenges add to existing headwinds from the slow economic growth and rising regulatory banking industry. Well, I'll be speaking with Moody's banking analyst Peter Mushangwe about what this means for Nigeria's banking industry. Good morning, Peter. And good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. So you've just changed your outlook on Nigeria's banking system to uh, negative from stable. And of course, that was driven by the coronavirus pandemic and an oil uh, price drop. What major risk did you see there? Um, yes, so we moved the outlook to negative from stable previously. Uh, all Nigerian banks in the to were on negative outlook. Uh, the main uh, issues that we identify is that the Nigerian based operating environment uh, is going to continue to deteriorate because of the coronavirus uh, pandemic and the current low oil prices. So we expect a little bit growth of only 0.9% uh, uh, next year and production this year. Uh, this will obviously limit the, uh, the base business but also uh, negatively affect their asset risk. Uh, so we see uh, MTLs for banks, which were improving the whole of 2019, uh, and uh, and and reversing this year, and uh, you know being higher than the six percent uh, uh, that we noticed in 2019. Uh, we also see um, you know bank capital levels reducing because uh, the banks will have uh, uh, limited. Profits to retain, but also because they are risk weighted assets are likely to increase. Uh, there is also a higher risk of banks uh, engaging unexpected losses uh, from their loan portfolios, which will hit on their capital. Uh, and we do also think that there will be uh, foreign currency uh, issues in the system, uh, as you know, uh, low oil prices would lead to uh, lower dollar uh, stock in the system, and this will obviously ne negatively affect the uh, foreign currency liquidity of the system. Uh, lastly, we do think that the profit of the Nigerian banks is going to be uh, lower this year because the banks will take higher loan loss provisions. Uh, so these are the main risks that we saw uh, uh, in, in the Nigerian banking system, which led to us to change the outlook. Now, this rating also speaks about the high levels of corporate loans posing further asset risks to the banking system. But some of the banks have successfully floated a tier two capital. What does this mean for the credit worthiness of such banks? Um, the banks that um, did uh, raise uh, uh, you know, additional capital uh, will be better placed, to obviously, to withstand the pressures that are coming through. Uh, because they will have a bigger buffer. But again, like I, I said, we, we do expect that this year, um, most on average, the capital levels of the Nigerian banks um, are going to uh, reduce. Uh, the banks will probably, you know, um, have prudent different policies and retain some of their profits, but then these profits are also going to be uh, reduced, as I indicated earlier, because of higher loan loss provisions and pressure on revenues. Uh, so overall, we see a down uh, situation for the Nigerian banks' capital levels. How do you think the banks can deal with the current situation to give room for a reversal of the outlook? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. I was asking that how do you think the banks can uh, actually deal with the current situation to give room for a reversal of the outlook? Um, given that um, uh, it's a negative outlook, um, they would do be very, you know, uh, little uh, opportunities for banks to um, get 
get an update on their ratings, but uh, in terms of the outlook being stabilized, um, I think this would uh, happen when we see an improvement on the issues I, I discussed about, uh, when we see asset quality improving, uh, when the bank's capital is less risky to the bank's capital, and the bank's uh, uh, profitability and foreign currency funding improves. Obviously, uh, this tends to happen when we have uh, um, a stronger operating environment. So uh, the overarching um, situation would be having a, a stronger operating environment that would allow banks to, uh, you know, um, any business that is less risky to their balance sheet, to their capital, and that will provide them uh, that profitability. Uh, so the, the, the stability of, of, of the outlook uh, would require a reversal of the trends that we are seeing now. Middies Banking Analyst Peter Mushangwe, thanks for speaking with us on the program. Thank you and thank you to your viewers.